What's up YouTube, this is Doc Funky, and as you can see here we've got the AVA Unit 1 Type F AFC experiment. Just received this in the mail today as a birthday present for myself, so figured I'd unbox it for you. So check out the box, typical, you know, Revoltech packaging. Got the pictures on the side, action shots on the back, you know, all that good stuff. Typical Revoltech information, sides, bottom and top. So let's pop them out. There he is in his tray. As you can see, he is different from the normal Unit 1. That's the uh, AFC Experiment armor on him. You'll see it a little better once I get him out of the tray. You see he comes with an uh, interchangeable head. This one has the mouth open a little. He's got two knives, two extra shoulder pieces here, and a whole bunch of extra hands. Let's see what we've got on the back. Ooh. A little different from the usual Revoltech stuff. We've got these, well, not really different, but just a different setup. We've got the two Revoltech stand pieces, the base and the arm. And then, again, Revoltech catalog. You know, same kind of stuff we've seen before. So, let's pop them out. There he is, AVA Unit 1, Type F AFC Experiment Armor. Looking very cool. Very nice. Height wise, I think he's probably even taller than the Brockens. Let me double check the packaging. Uh, let's see. Actually, it doesn't say on there how tall he is. Let me grab Alphonse real quick. Here he's next to Alphonse, definitely bigger. Uh, pro definitely, I would say even bigger than the Brockens. Even taller, especially with the uh, shoulder pieces on him. So we'll move Alphonse out of the way. This is an earlier Revoltech model than the any of the Pat Labor ones I've shown you. I think those were all around the 40s. This is uh, series number 28. So he looks a little bit less flexible, but I'm sure he's still just as awesome. Set him off to the side here. We'll show you some of the other stuff he comes with. He's got the other head. You can see the mouth is open down there. So he's kind of roaring. We've got two knives. Each of them has a little notch in it. Pretty cool, kind of nasty looking. These are the other chest pieces. Show them to the right there. I believe you pry up this part of the chest piece and stick this in. It's kind of got like a an energy ball on the end. Uh, again, this is something I think this armor is from like a Japanese PS2 game that I've never played, so I don't know what really these do. Or, you know, where this came from, but looks cool, so I like it. Here's one of the hands. He's got all his fingers closed in kind of a knife edge position, maybe for like thrusting into something or just saluting. Hey, it'll work. Let's see the other hands. He's got a nice little tray for him. Here's one with a fist to hold one of the knives. The other one's got sort of an open fist. Probably could jam a gun or something in there, maybe. Here's an even more open hand. Probably good for clawing it. Whatever you want. Uh, looks like the same hand, just... Ah, I'm dropping them all over. Yeah, pretty much same hand, just on the other side. So two open claws, and then another hand for holding stuff. So two hands for the knives, two claw hands, one sort of grabbing hand, and one knife edge hand. And his default hands 
are just fists, close fists. Can't put anything in them. But he looks very cool. I really like him. He's got nice hip action on him too. He can actually move his legs in and out. Unlike some of the Padlabors, who's actually posability is even a little better than them in that respect. So I really like him. Definitely glad I got this as a birthday present. And to the person who got it for me, thank you very much. This is Doc Funky saying, check him out. Rock and roll.